Okay, so quick question here on Experience Builder and how can you configure dynamic lists off it? Okay, so I have my Experience Builder loaded in. I have a web map here. Uh, and what I want to do is, is create a dynamic list. So first thing to do, make sure your live view is off so you can actually add elements to it. And top left here, I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to click on list. Okay, so as I click on this, drag it across over here I'm gonna rearrange it a little bit make it the length of this sidebar here uh, and now you can see different options appear right so on the right hand side I have different options on how I want it to look okay and um, what you can do is you know maybe you want a grid maybe you want a column maybe you want a row and um, I want a row uh, and I just want text above it now after you select these you might have to rearrange them again um, but from here I'm happy enough that I'm just going to select a row so I want a picture here I want the title of the shipwreck in this case here and then I want some more information about it so I'm going to hit start here and what I'm going to do is select data navigate to my shipwrecks in this case uh, and, and that just connects the data to it okay so anything that I do now is connected to this data so for instance if I go into this image now and I say okay the data is shipwrecks and that's all good all right, make sure you select the actual image I just selected the list there and I can say that this is actually going to be dynamic my URL and click these curly brackets to give me attributes and then I can say image available right so that's going to dynamically list all the different images you can see they're all different there and then I can do the exact same thing with a few different clicks okay uh, when I click this edit text so when I go to double click to edit text I'm looking for this thing here that says dynamic content click on this and then I can say name of vessel now when I left clicked away from this you can see that it, it's gone in and said the Empress of Britain Giara city of whatever Sim, Simla okay fair enough um, and then I can do the exact same thing for the description so left click the description left click it again so don't double left click it but just left click it left click it again go dynamic content and then I want to say you know comments um, or I can say you know slash type of vessel I can put it in whatever I want here yeah uh, left click to go away from it and then it'll tell me all these different ones so as I go into live view now and start scrolling down you can see they're all different yeah and um, so it is a case that add your list connect to your data and then go into each individual list element um, and then start going down yeah you can see here by default if I've set up my map I zoom in and it's gonna return all these different ones to me yeah so if I scroll across the area around Waterford my list does the same thing if you get this icon it means an image link is broken within the data set then you can zoom away into areas that have it. And that's how to set up lists in Experience Builder.